Hello there, welcome back to my bench once again, Hugh here. And in this tutorial I'm going to tie you up a, another simple caddis pattern, but very effective as well. This guy is called the Sparkle Caddis. Initially, more or less, it's a, an emerging caddis pattern. But I've had luck with it a lot on the surface. Fishing it did drift plus just under the surface as an emerging caddis. Very effective little guy. So I thought I'd give him a tie-up for you this time. So I'll get him a device, a hook in, and we'll get started here. And the hook I'm using is a standard dry fly 94840 must-head, size 14 this time. Get him locked in the vise here. And the thread of choice is Danville 6 aught fly master in a And it's a in a tannish brown color here. So we're going to start our thread. We'll hook eye length behind the eye here. And we're going to wrap back, touching wraps to above the barb. Come back and then we'll snip off our tag end here. Just like so. Okay, and our tail consists of a tannish UV ice dub. And what I've done is I took, took it and kept stacking it together until I got it where I want it, and so it's strong enough to tie in for a tail. So what I'll do is uh, tie that in here, right on the top, the hook here, right above the barb. A couple wraps, come down, wrap ahead a few wraps, and then we're going to fold that back and wrap on top of that. And essentially, what that is is our trailing shuck. So I got that tied in. That's so what I'm going to do. I don't want to cut it off and give it a blunt end with my scissors, so I'll just take my fingers and pull that to length until I get it to the length I want it. Don't want it too thick on there either, so. Okay. A little bit more off of that, so I don't, don't want it too thick. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, that should be fine. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I just want to give it a rough look. I don't want it too, too neat look. I want to rough it up a little bit here. Okay, that should be fine for our shuck. Okay. Now, next, the body. I'm going to wrap back here. It is a tan Antron dubbing. Super fine dubbing. In a tan color. So I'm going to Put a little tacky wax on the thread here. I'm going to dub herself a noodle on here on the thread. So we'll just I'm going to slight taper on this guy, but not too much. So just keep that in mind. We'll wrap, you want it thin at the rear and a little thicker as you go up. Just like so here. And I'm going to dub that on. Okay. Now I'm going to come back. I want my first wrap right in front of that shock, the tail there. And then we're going to move forward on this guy, just like so here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more dubbing. Take a little bit more of that tail. I just think it's a little thicker than what I want just yet, so I'm going to. Come in and take a little more out of it. There we go. That's perfect. That's how I want it. Okay. Now I'm going to dub a little bit more on. Some more wax on the thread here. Okay. And we'll dub the rest of that on. Work our way up towards the eye. That should be fine. Right there is fine. A little stray fiber there. So there we go. We have our tail on there and our body. So the wing, it's just like your standard up here wing. I have some in the stacker here. Some bleached elk here. Stack that up. Get the ends nice and even. It's like so here. Okay. Now I'm going to bring this hair in. And I'm going to measure that up. Now on this guy, the Sparkle Caddis, you don't want the hair going too far back. I bring it back to about the end of the body is where you want it. Not any farther. Then I'm going to bring my scissors and trim that flush with the eye. 
where my thread hangs I'm going to come up around one soft loop two soft loops like so come down but snug it down good and wrap back onto that a few wraps and I just want to check it make sure it's where I want my wing that looks fine now what I like to do for durability I'm going to push that the head of that fly up the hair here and I'm going to go through the wing butts wrap my thread through as I go forward to the eye that'll make that much more durable your wing and I'm going to wrap another wrap through and I'm going to hold all that back come right down in front of the eye like so there we go okay I'm going to trim I got a few hairs there I want to trim out one right on the bottom that's fine and that's all there is to the sparkle caddis very effective caddis pattern so what I'm going to do first is come in with the half hitch give myself a couple half hitches on this guy here that's one two just like so snug that down good then we're going to sneak under there and give it a three to four turn whip finish like so there we go come in snug that down good and I'll come in and snip off my excess just like so okay there he is another size 14 sparkle caddis and you can change your color up you can tie it in olives blacks even I just had a lot of luck on this tan variation you can tie it all cream color as well if you wish <clears throat> so what I'll do next I'm going to turn them up here I want to put a little see just a couple more fibers there I want to snip out I didn't see these stray guys hanging down here I just want to snip those out there we go I want to put a little bit of head spin on those thread wraps underneath just a little drop here there we go and turn it up and right behind the head too on the thread wraps a little bit of cement there we go so I hope you can get a chance to tie this guy up and try him your next time you're out this season coming very effective caddis pattern see if I can get a little close up here I might have to adjust my focus but yeah, that's pretty good uh, let's see Okay, just bear with me here. Oops, that's worse. Go this way. There we go. There he is. Great little caddis pattern. Easy to tie. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, and you want to see more, just hit that subscribe button. And throw in a like too, if you wish. And I really want to thank you a lot for watching my tutorials. And until next time, happy tying everyone. I'll see you again soon. So long for now, folks.